Hollywood parties, nothing better. But let's get it on the court. No distractions here tonight. Let's do this thing. Finishing inside the paint on that one. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple. Stuffs it down with authority. Whoa, he got up there. Just showing you that 40-inch vertical. James to Kyle Kuzma. Cruises inside for two. Hey, look. Pretty dudes can mix it up once in a while, too, I guess. Almost. And he's not getting the call. Kuzma to James. To Kyle Kuzma. Nothing going here on that drive. Kuzma, five on the shot clock. It's LeBron. Shot, shot, shot. Knocks it down from mid-range. That was a tough shot. The guy was in your pocket. He even contested the shot. Everything was going according to plan until then. To Colin Sexton. Has a look. Add two points to the board. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Lakers at the controls right now. With a drop step. And look out. Big finish at the rim. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a problem city. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. James. To Colin Sexton. Nice finish at the rim. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. LeBron with it up top. Looking to make something happen. He throws it down. This offseason, I heard so many voices. Even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy, and that's to be the greatest of all time. Oh, emphatic slam! If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. The assist from number two, Lonzo To Colin Sexton. Love. His first effort off the mark. Shooter shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Oh, he was wide open. It's not going to be pretty when they watch the video. Someone's getting chewed out. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. To James. Cut him, cut him. Right, right. To Ball. Shot. A fundamental shot right there. Now the Cavs gonna signal for timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Clarkson with the basketball. Now down six. Here comes the screen to Clarkson. And the rebound taken by Caldwell Pope. It's James. He engulfed him that time. Clarkson with the basketball, hey, last job, last counting job. down towards one minute to play here in the opening quarter. No good. Defense catching a break there. One of the best-kept secrets in the game. 
Utilize it ahead bit. Get the defender in the air. Crack into him. Don't give the refs any excuse not to call foul. I put that one on you. You went up a little bit lazy. Yes. For every tough shot you make, buy one, get one free. Ed, did you see what this pass just did? Now it encourages his teammates to move with more sense of urgency because they understand that next time down the court, they might be on the receiving end of that pass. LeBron James looking good. Four for five. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Around the perimeter to Clarkson. It's Clarkson with the slam. I see this happen so much in the game. Just because a guy beats you off the dribble doesn't mean that you need to quit on the play. Stay in there, continue to be physical, even if you're behind the play. Couldn't keep it in. Off Contavious Caldwell Pope. We're through one from Staples Center with the Lakers on top. Jay and I return to the City of Angels after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. Second corner about to start. Jay, this has felt like a game of horse. It was shot for shot in the opening period. Both teams are on fire, but speaking of competitive juices, one of the beautiful things that we heard during the timeout in a team huddle, you heard multiple voices that weren't the coach saying how much more they needed to fight in order to win this game. Oh, trust me, the intensity level is going to pick up a couple of notches. End scores. Kicks it outside. And they call the foul. Jay, he was there too late. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. And hits the first free throw. Goes two for two. Rondo with the basketball. They lead it. Four-point game. Now ready for a couple of free throws. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. For Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's got two shots coming. For his career, 78% at the line. First try at the line, no good. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. The pass taken away by the Lakers. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. LeBron James, he's now five for six. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Here's Rondo with it. Leads five. The pass set it all up. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Steps out and hits. Woo. That pass speaks for itself. There's nothing more to say about that one. Wow. Clarkson. can't miss those. And you hate to say this, but this is the reality of the matter. Sometimes it takes guys a little while to warm up into the game. Seems like they finally found their rhythm in the second quarter. And he's fouled, and he earns a trip to the line. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. Substitutions, please. Knocks down the second after missing the first. 
Terrific vision. Fires the three. They dared him, and he burns them. Great shot by the offense. But the defense, you can't afford to collapse off that penetration. I'd rather a team take a tough two than a wide open three. To Caldwell Pope. John Henson by Tipson. Oh, he blocked that with authority. John Henson sends it away. The shot clock expires. Sexton. Had a chance, but it's no good. To Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma, strong finish. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Number 35, Reggie Bullock. 4-3. Tough shot. Well defended. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Trying to cash in, wide open, too easy. You can't give him that look. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. And finishes strong. Now whistle, and Cleveland is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. set to make some moves right now. Ball in possession of Cleveland. Sexton. Let's it fly from long range. Not that time. He missed it. To James. Count the bucket for two. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Ball with the basketball. His guys hold a commanding lead. JaVale McGee. Screen coming. That is great vision to set it up. It's Kuzma with the two. I don't know if a body on him would have prevented that bucket, but it at least would have let him know that you were there. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Look, I'm not the one to hate. I'm the prime example of a bad decision that turned out well. Ball into the front court. Under a minute to go before halftime. McGee powers it through. Like my old coach used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's way too easy. Just keep attacking. It's easy money. And the rebound taken down by the Lakers. To ball. Backs his man down for the basket. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. To love. From long range. I like the toughness, but Colin Sexton off the mark. Pass stolen by the Cavs. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. Oh, Lonzo Ball. He's two for two now. Deep three at the buzzer. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports halftime report. Jalen. 
first half, very one-sided. What will the second half bring? We'll find out as we're underway. To Love. Has a chance. Shot by Love. Off the mark. LeBron into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Cavaliers. Time for some new personnel into the game. That pass stolen by the Cavs. And the basket good at the rim. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Now pass taken away by Cleveland. Great dish to set it up. Won't go. Has a look. The shot almost. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short, which made him short arm the shot. That's off the side of the rim, no good. To Colin Sexton, love. Nice pace, sets it up and slams it down. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Shot won't go. And this is where you know you have the offense right where you want them. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. Works it to Kyle Kuzma. Beyond the arc for three. Kyle Kuzma is going to get three shots here. A career 70% free throw shooter. Oops, he missed the first one. And he hits the second. To love. Add two points to the board. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Tyson Chandler, huge block. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Love. The pass taken away by the Lakers. Couldn't keep it in. It's out on Tyson Chandler. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. The Cavaliers, number eight, Jordan Clarkson. It's me, it's me, I got it. Sexton to Clarkson. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Tyson Chandler with a piece. Ed, that's like work for a guy with his ability. No good. Oh, it looked like he may have gotten him there. And they call it. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Lance Stevenson, that's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Love to Clarkson. For three. That's off the side of the rim. Short. To Kyle Kuzma. to Stevenson. John Henson able to recover with the block. Just incredible timing on that slot. James to Stevenson. He had all day and all night to knock that one down. Need to hear more chatter on the defensive end. 
There's only so many times you can hide from the truth. That was horrific defense. Just got to get it back on the next possession. Well defended, but Kevin Love still hits it from three. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. Cut, 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 I got yours. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Cavs at the controls. To love. Here comes the screen. Clarkson. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell boy, drill. Boy, got, you got, stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. That's usually one that he'll knock down. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. To Clarkson. Fires the three. Jordan Clarkson pounded. Shot off the mark. Here's a chance from long range. Off the mark. No good. And counted at the rim. That's it? That's all the celebration I get? I wanted to see a little bit more off that one. with the Lakers in command. It'll be Lakers ball as we begin the fourth quarter. You figured they certainly had the advantage coming into this one. Jay, that's how it's played out. On paper, this wasn't set up to be much of a contest. If the crowd could have gotten into it early, maybe. But sometimes a team is so good that you never had a chance to even start. to shoot for Los Angeles. Ball, pass, stolen by the Cavs. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Going to launch, beyond the arc, buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. This game comes down to micro adjustments. Either mismatches, ball screens, slipping action on those ball screens, quick fades to threes. It just seems like you're actually finding your rhythm offensively. Rondo. Yes. It's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch. But great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. Love. Fires the three. That's how you defend. And big-time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Gets it in the left corner. Love. It's good. Coach wants to see more from his D. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Los Angeles, they have it. James. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with the fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. LeBron into the front court. Looking to make something happen. That pass stolen by the Cavs. To Clarkson. 
Count the basket. In the last 10 sequences down the court, everybody's touched the ball. You don't see anybody with any kind of negative expressions on their face because everybody's eating. Deep right corner. Lonzo Ball. Rebound low. Clarkson with the basketball. Down by 15. That'll be a winning formula in overtime every time. Answer a two on one end with a three on the other. Ed, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think a three is more than a two, correct? That is great math, my friend. In the front court comes Rondo. He'll run the offense. Here comes the screen to James. Scores from the post. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. And count the basket. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched the epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Lonzo Ball connects. They sag off someone whose shot is only improving, and Lonzo delivers. As a shooter, your hands always have to be ready. Ready, meaning that your hands are always providing a target to the passer for an easy catch and shoot. James. Shot from the lane, won't go. 4-3. Oh, he hits the three. And your big is the one making that happen. Every time he's involved in a PNR, he's slipping it, forcing that guy from the weak side to come down and help. Put skip passes, equal threes in the bank. Out of bounds, last touch by the Cavaliers. So it stays with the L.A. Lakers. From the painted area, won't go down. To Clarkson. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Can't connect, it's no good. To Love, Clarkson. Love. Oh, that's how it's done. I don't know how he saw his man out in the cut like that, but that was nice. Rondo into the front court. His team leads it by 10. Here comes the screen. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. Now the Cavs going to signal for timeout. They're down big in this fourth quarter and a chance here to empty their bench. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. To Clarkson. Let's it fly from long range. He missed his first four from downtown. He finally gets a three to go. I'm going to tell you what every shooter thinks after he misses four in a row. One has to go in eventually. Rondo buries it on the catch and shoot. Not everybody possesses this power, but wow, what quarter wins. LBJ with it. Here comes the screen. Kuzma defended by Knight. Rondo. He drills the three. Just inside the arc. At the buzzer. Deep two there. Won't go. The Lakers get the victory as they win this one handily. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.